Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, hey, what's up? If it's not, welcome back. Well, first off, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did like a luxury accessories unboxing on my IGTV. So I realized I did it on my IGTV and I didn't do anything for it on my YouTube and I was just going to upload the vertical video to my YouTube. Then I was like, you know what? No, like I'm going to be a consistent content this year or this summer. So I decided I was going to do like a fake unboxing what I got haul, um, like recent pickups in this video. I decided to do accessories, not clothing, partially because some of my clothing is in the dark winners. This is just going to be a accessories and shoes recent pickups and haul. So if you want to see what I got, make sure to keep on watching and let's get started. Should I start with? Let me, I'll start small. So let me start with something that's actually still in the box, which is this little number from Dior. So I don't know if you guys saw the Dior pre-fall show. It's super cool. It was with um, Suryama. Suryama, yeah. I forget how, I don't want to say his first name, but he's a Japanese artist. It was a collaboration between him Jones and him. And um, he ended up doing um, like super cool capsules for this collection. One of the main parts of the collection was the like giant metallic naked robot that was in the middle of the runway. And so when I saw this piece, which like paid homage to that um, sculpture, I was like, oh, I need that. So I don't uh, remember all the prices, but I'll make sure to um, put them in the description. And I'll also put like about around how much it was because I know I like to know the prices when I watch these type of videos. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. This is actually gonna be probably one of the only things that's actually like unboxed. I love this print. Also, the Dior packaging right now, I'm just really obsessed with. It's like so nice. I haven't thrown away any of my Dior boxes because I think it's like such like a nice, um, like kind of pebbled. Like it's kind of like a leather material, but it's not. It's like cardboard, but it has like a leather like feel to it. I really like it. So this is the scarf. It's Dior with the Suryama, um robot and these really pretty cherry blossoms. I think the print is really amazing. You can wear it like a lot of different ways. The few ways I've worn it are one, um, it's just kind of like this and tied around with like a white tee, kind of like I'm wearing, I wouldn't wear it with this shirt just because like the red and I think it clashes, but like something like this. It also looks really great if you kind of tie it around and then do it as like tie it around the neck like this. I think this is like, and then do a little knot. There are like a bunch of different ways to wear it. You can also like tie it around your belt loop, but that's the way it was shown on the runway. Um, and I just think it's a super stunning print and I'm really glad to have it in my collection. I'm also a sucker for anything that's like capsule or limited or collab. I love a collab. Like what can I say, I love a collab. So, that's the first thing on my recent pickups. And I also have to mention, um, this scarf I believe was about $250. I'll double check and all the prices will be linked in the description. And if I can find them, um, just because some of these pieces are pretty rare, I'm like really excited I was able to actually find them. Um, but if I can find them, I'll link them in the description also. The second thing in um, the realm of accessories will be something I got from Matches. Um, you guys have definitely seen this item before because it was in my last video um, when I unboxed my Jacquemus mini bag. Um, this is another Jacquemus piece. I've already unboxed it, but I've kept the box in pretty good condition still. Also, Matches fashion, like kudos on the packaging. I love this kind of like, it's, I don't even know how what to call this. Like that spin art stuff you used to do as a kid. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know those like spin art things where like you put it, it's spun and then you put the ink in the middle and then it like made the design? That is kind of what this is like. You make like a t-shirt and stuff. Yeah. Um, so this is the box. Also, the packaging inside is amazing. It has the matches fashion on the top. Um, um, all like the things for returning. This return foot matches is super easy. So it has all like the return stickers, um, the receipt and everything is in here. 
Also, another thing I love about matches is that they have like these personal touches. So on it, it tells you who wrapped this for you. And this was, it says, your mattressfashion.com order was carefully packed by Ramona. We hope you enjoy your purchase. Thank you, Ramona. If you ever find this video, <laughs> thank you. I really enjoyed the packaging on this. You also have great handwriting. So what came in this box was my Shockmas coin bag, like necklace coin bag. Um, this is like really iconic from his first men's collection. Um, he also kind of started the whole like necklace bag trend. This bag, you can't really hold anything in. I actually don't have anything in it. I've worn it like probably like five to ten times so far, and it still has like the packing inside. Um, it's just because I want to keep the structure of it. Because I've tried to like put cards and stuff, and it's just kind of awkward fit. And then like if you put too many, it like bulges. So it really is just like a pure accessory. Um, but it's made of a really nice leather. Uh, it. Yeah, it's a pretty simple piece, but I think it really elevates any outfit. Like, I've worn this with, like, a plain t-shirt. I've worn it with, like, more, like, padding clothes and throwing this on top. This kind of really, like, elevates the look to the next level. Oh, also, I forgot to mention price. I believe this was almost $300. I think maybe, like, $250. What should I do next? I'm thinking... Well, actually, all the rest are shoes. But um, I'll start with... Let's start with the big guys. So... I know you see this big Balenciaga box, and you can probably assume what I got. The iconic triple S's. So this was a super, well, I wouldn't say it was a, a impulse purchase. It kind of was, but kind of not, because I've been wanting these shoes since they became big, like, probably like a year or more ago. Um, but I just could never really find a color I liked, because for a while they were impossible to find. Um, but now the Balenciaga store in Soho, like, they have, like, them in a bunch of different colors and styles and sizes, so they're not as hard to find as they were before. But then also I would try them on, I just really, wouldn't really love how they looked at my feet in the colors I was finding. But recently, um, the day that I did get these, I was actually at Jeffrey, one of my favorite stores. I, the one, the store that I got my, um, Yeezy 700s, I think, or whether my 700s, I forget, but... But I was there and I was just kind of browsing and then like the sale associates there are really good because they're like, they really just like pull things for you and like, try this on, try this on, oh you'd look great in this. And they just really like butter you up. And then I saw this shoe but actually in a, um, a green and white color and then also another, I forget the other color, I'll put it on the screen and I put it on my story on my Instagram. And I was like... And I just got paid. So, so that's always really dangerous. So I just got paid and they were like, oh, you should try this, you should try this. And I've been wanting them for a while. And I was like, ooh, I don't know. And I, the colors that they had weren't amazing. Um, they were cool, but they were like, I'd only be able to wear them so many times because it was like neon and green. And it was like, that's going to go out of style in a while. And it's like, this shoe is already pretty loud. I don't know if I want neon green ones too. So I didn't know if I wanted that color, but then I was like already in the mood to buy. Like I'd already, in my mind, I had already spent the money, even though I hadn't actually bought anything. So I was like, you know what, like I'm buying these shoes today. So I ended up calling Balenciaga. I was in Chelsea at the time. I ended up calling the Balenciaga in Soho, seeing if they had them in this color and like other colors, they did. And so I went all the way from Chelsea to Balenciaga and I ended up trying on a bunch of different colors and then I ended up on these shoes, which if you know me, like, all my shoes are this color, but it's just because this is, like, my whole vibe. It's, like, all, like, neutrals and stuff, and I feel like I'll be able to wear these, and I have been able to wear them um, with a lot of different things, and I just really like them. And actually, on the feet, if you get the right size, they actually don't look that big. I usually wear a 40, it's interesting, because I usually wear, like, a 44, a 43 or 44 in shoes, and these are actually a 42, and you can see it has the size on the toe just in case you forget. Um, yeah, but I think you might have to go a little bit smaller just because they do run big, clearly. And these sneakers ran, I believe, about eight fifty before tax. Um, yeah, so these are my first shoe pickups. So my second shoe pickup is the Dior. So on the whole, like, trendy hype sneakers, I had to go and grab myself a pair of the Oblique runners. For a while I wasn't going to get these because I'd heard that they're pretty delicate and actually if you feel it, I know you guys can't 
through the screen, but I'll try and describe it as best I can. It's like a kind of like a raincoat like mesh material. It's like really interesting. It looks like it would just be like cloth, but it's not. It's like very stiff and kind of like a mix between like a, a strainer. <laughs> kind of like, it's actually, it's really like strainer material. It's like a strainer material. You can kind of hear, hear it. So I just get these for a while because I thought they, I would rip them. With me, I wear my shoes to death. I wear like all my stuff to death. Um, and so I was just kind of like scared to spend the amount of money um, for something like this. But then um, I had tried them on, which was a mistake, when I was at Bergdorf's with a friend. And they had just restocked them. And so I tried them on, and then ever since I tried them on, I was thinking about it for like a good week. I was thinking about them, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get them. So <laughs> I did. But I wear them so much. This color and style, like, they're white sneaker. And like, the Dior is in black. So they really go with everything. Also, it's a cool shoe, but I get so many compliments when I wear these shoes. Even people who like, people are like, who makes those shoes? Those are amazing. Like, where are those from? Like, are those Converse? And I always like, oh, like, they're cool. I didn't think they were that cool. But I think it's just because in person, when you see this material, it's not really like anything you've really ever seen before. So I think that's why they're like really unique. And they definitely need to be cleaned. But yeah, I've really been loving these guys too. And these were, I want to say these were close to a thousand after tax, but I think they might have been a little bit less. Um, and it'll be linked in the description below, but I'm pretty sure it's, I think, I feel like it was close to a thousand because they were expensive. They were really expensive. Um, but I'm glad they're part of my collection. I feel like these aren't as hypey as my Balenciagas, and I'll be able to wear these like in five years. I feel like they won't be like, well, what, what are those? Those are weird. Like, they'll still be in style. The basic Converse shape sneaker. So last but not least are not really a luxury piece, but um, it's another collab, another really rare find. Um, and I actually was able to find the like only pair I could find in my size online. Thank you, Opening Ceremony, for having these. It is the Converse J.W. Anderson black sneakers. So i would seen these before and I thought they were cool, but I wasn't really like that in love with them. I was actually more in love with the other versions, which I'll include here, um, which have like a really chunky sole at the bottom. They're like a lot more unique. These are just really like generic Converse. They just happen to say J.W. Anderson on the side. But I liked them. I wasn't like a huge fan. I was, I'd seen them like online and stuff, but it wasn't until I was actually out in Soho again, because where else am I in New York? Um, I'm either at home, at work, or in Soho. So, or at SoulCycle. Um, but I was at, at a store, I forget what it was. I actually think it was at Balenciaga, at the women's store, because I need to go to the bathroom, and the men just don't have a bathroom, so you have to go across the street to the women's store. Which, by the way, is ginormous. I'd never been there before. I digress. But I was there, and this guy was there with his girlfriend, and he was wearing these, and they looked so cool. And I was like, oh. Those look really cool on. I never really seen them like a full look before. I just seen the shoe by itself on like Instagram, um, and so I saw them in person. I was like, oh, like, I need to really style these really well. And I also realized I don't actually have black sneakers. Um, just like plain black sneakers. They're either all tan, a weird color, a boot like a like a black boot, or a white sneaker. So I was like. This will be a good basic piece to have. It's cool. It's, a, it's like a collector. It's a collab, which I love. And I've been able to get a lot of really great use out of these. These were actually a really great price. I think they were only like $110 or something like that. Um, so like a normal, well, kind of a, a little bit more expensive than like a typical combo, but nothing like crazy, like luxury prices or anything. So these are definitely a really great find. I, if you can still find them, uh, I definitely recommend them. They have it. J.W. Anderson and Converse just released a new collab, which I'll include here. It's very glittery, <laughs> which I'm definitely not wearing. Um, but if I, if I did guess them, it would literally just be to collect them and add them um, to my collection. But yeah, I'm not wearing them. But, <laughs> but I think they'll probably do some more collabs in the future just because I think this has been really successful for them. And people love collabs. Look at me, like half of the that I got today were collabs. So guys, that is it for my recent pickups video. I'll also include my actual official unboxing that I did on my IGTV in the description. I'll also kind of leave a little um, clip of it 
right here as I'm talking. Um, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure to. I'll leave my handle on the screen. Um, it's just at jtivitz. And then also follow me on my blog, The Luxury Choice. I'm going to be consistent this summer. I'm so determined. Um, a post every Monday, a video every Friday. So you can find me on there too. Um, and of course, here on YouTube. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.